Human beings are a curiously worshipful species, aren't we? And one of the most important religious and philosophical questions we've asked is what kind of God is most worthy of worship? This is not a trivial question, and yet I remain convinced that one cannot even begin to approach that question without first asking and answering a more fundamental question. Namely, why is it that God and a universe such as ours exist in the first place? What reasons or explains God's existence? This is a question about the nature of divine necessity, and it's been answered in different ways. I'm going to quickly give you five, only one of which illuminates the question as to God's worthiness of worship. One, God's existence is ultimately reasonless and without explanation, a complete and ultimate brute fact. And yet, can you worship a brute fact? Two, God's existence is due to God's own unrelenting power, such that power is what properly deserves your worship. Is this true? Three, God's existence is due to the fact that God is logically necessary, such that denying God's existence lands you in a logical contradiction. Is it logic that deserves your worship? Four, we do not know, and we cannot know, why it is that God exists. We must submit to utter mystery. And yet, does mystery claim your worship? These four responses are inadequate when thinking about a God worthy of worship. They also fail to illuminate what worship is. And yet there's another answer that not only has deep roots in traditional affirmations of God, but also has creative developments in modern thinking, modern theology, in particular process relational thought. And it has to do with axiology, or in a word, value. Okay, consider this. Could God exist precisely because it's supremely valuable that God should? Could God exist because God ought to? Or could value be at the ontological foundations of divinity? I think it can. And I think this transforms our understanding of worship, human purpose, and the reason for anything at all. But let's see if you agree with me.